When you're cruising through the cosmos, you won't believe your eyes. There's always something new to see. When you're gliding through the galaxy, there's always a surprise. So why don't you fly with me? Astrofun, Astrofun, it's a very special place. Astrofun, Astrofun, can't you see we're living on an asteroid in outer space? Astrofun, Astrofun, everywhere a friendly place. Astrofun, Astrofun, can't you see we're living on an asteroid in outer space? Collecting the eggs on Astrofarm isn't always an easy task because the clucks like to play games and hide them everywhere. Now, where first? I suppose I could try the cluck coop for a change. Oh, looks like I'm in luck. Right, girls, let them roll. Thanks, girls. Oh, one more. Well, that's strange. <laughs> oh, you win, Dink. I'll have to raise Daisy next time. Will you look at that? Look at Daisy. <laughs> I better call Mum. Quick, Sam, we need another basket. I've never seen anything like this before. They just keep coming. What are we going to do? Eat omelettes for the rest of the month, I think. Come in, Mum. Come in, Dad. Dad here. What's up, Tom? Dad, I'm at Daisy's Meadow and there's something funny going on over here. I bet it's not as funny as what's going on over here. We'll be over straight away, Tom. Don't worry. You go on ahead. I'll catch up. I want to check up on something. OK. I'll see you later. I wonder... Look at Daisy! What is she doing? Look, Dink. It's a big pink rock with blue patches all over it and it's right in the middle of Daisy's field. Come to think of it, Dink, it looks just like Daisy. Do you think it could be her? <coughs> There's only one way to find out. Hello, Daisy. Do you know what's happening, Mum? Oh, I think I do. Look. The Astro Dragons are here. Wow! Astro Dragons? I've heard about them before, but I've never seen them. They're the reason Daisy and the Clucks have been acting strangely. I looked it up in the old book. It says that just before Astro Dragon eggs fly over a farm, the animals always start acting up. Mm. She'll soon settle down. So, what are Astro Dragons, Mum? I think we're about to find out. Look. It's crashing. Come on. It's broken. So where's the... Dinko, he's only a baby. He may be just a baby, but he's certainly got a grown-up appetite. Wow! He's too young to know what he's doing. Yeah, poor little dragon. Well, I suggest we get back to the farm and try to figure out some way of stopping his hiccups. Astro Farm isn't the place for a fire-breathing dragon with hiccups. Can I pick him up, Dad? I suppose so, but be careful. We'd better take these with us as well. Come on, Dinko. It's OK now. Isn't he great? <laughs> mm. 
What we really need is something that will stop the dragon from hiccuping flames everywhere. A mask or something. What about this? What is it? It's one of my old oven gloves. It might do the trick. Good idea. We just need to make a few alterations. I'll go and see how Tom's getting on with his new friend. Whatever you do, keep him away from the haystack. Hmm. Let's see. You made it all right, then. Yes, with a few hiccups. I think he likes me. And we all like you, too, don't we? <sighs> Dad's got an idea that might stop him setting fire to everything. Can we keep him, then? Oh. What's up with Dinko? I think he's OK. Maybe a little jealous. This'll cheer him up, though. Here, boy. Well. <laughs> That's a great trick. This should do the job. There. Duck, duck. Now we can think about what we're going to do with him. Can't we keep him now he's got a mask? That wouldn't be fair, Tom. He needs to be with other dragons. Anyway, we can't keep him in a mask forever. Duck. We can't keep him in a mask at all. He can't stay here. He could set fire to the whole farm. We'll have to get him back in the air. I suppose you're right. But how? The egg's broken. Hmm. Maybe I could have a look at it. Do you think you could fix it? Well, I could have a go. Maybe you should try and keep him occupied while Dad's in the workshop. Make sure he doesn't set anything alight. OK, Mum. We put these on like this, right? Now, remember what I said. When I say breathe, breathe, OK? Right. <laughs> oh, it's OK, Dinko. You'll be all right. <laughs> Ready? OK. Fire away. <laughs> yes, you've done it. And they're just right, too. How's yours, Dinko? Uh, oh, come uh, on, Dinko. What are you two up to? I'm just keeping him occupied, Mum. Have a mallow, Dad. They're great. Hang on. I want to see what your dad's been doing in the barn. Ta-ra! As good as new. And I've added a few improvements, too. You'll be able to see where you're going now. How'd you like that? And I've got a surprise, too. Here's something to keep you warm. There. Look! It must be nearly time for the next lot of Astro Dragons to fly over. Your old map. Oh, that's good of you, Dinko. So, you're friends now. Right, get him in the egg. I hope he can take off. He seems to put on a bit of weight since he got here. Oh, no! He is too heavy. What are we going to do? They'll be flying over any minute. Hmm. I know. I hope this works. There they are. Ready, Dinko? Wow. Dragons away! The little dragon rejoined the other astral dragons thanks to Dad's old overalls. Daisy and the Cluck soon got back to normal, and Dinko still managed to finish off all the marshmallows.